Come Back the Earth, producers mock Harry over his podcast ideas, interview Putin and Zuckerberg trauma. Meghan Markle only hosted one podcast, Archetypes, under her and Prince Harry's failed $20 million Spotify deal. But that doesn't mean the red-headed royal didn't have podcast ideas of his own. Bloomberg reported Thursday that unidentified insiders claim Harry met with multiple producers and production houses to brainstorm show concepts. But the practicality of some of these ideas struck people as questionable. Reporter Ashley Carman spoke to people with knowledge of the situation about what ideas the prince floated. They requested anonymity because they weren't authorised to speak about his work. Spotify declined to comment, as did Archwell Audio. Harry was reportedly the biggest fan of his own ideas including a podcast about childhood trauma with a slew of controversial big shot guests. Per Bloomberg, Harry wanted to speak with Vladimir Putin, Mark Zuckerberg and Donald Trump about their early years and how their experiences shaped their adulthoods. Harry reportedly also pitched a podcast centred around fatherhood, as well as another that would explore societal conversations ranging from climate change to religion. He also reportedly wanted to speak to Pope Francis about religion, with executives left scratching their heads, according to Bloomberg. Harry met with many potential podcast producers, but they turned down one after another because it was difficult to implement despite the abundance of ideas. None of them ever came to fruition. Maybe Harry thinks he's a royal prince so he can invite big men in the world. Nope, can't do that. He really does think he's so important the Pope will drop everything in order to talk to him. Harry thinks because his grandmother was important and his father is now important and his brother will be important that Harry is just as important. The practicality of these ideas struck some people in the Harry podcast cosmos as questionable at best, given that people like Putin and Zuckerberg rarely give wide-ranging interviews about the topics they're passionate about, let alone about their upbringings and personal childhood traumas, reporter Ashley Carman wrote in a Bloomberg newsletter. In any case, no podcast from Harry ever materialised. Harry's clearly a narcissist. He thinks that just because he's Harry, he can interview the likes of Putin, Zuckerberg, Trump, etc. Like these people will give him the time of day just because he's a prince. His wife did her podcast and who is the most high profile personality she interviewed? Serena Williams or Mariah Carey? Harry's trying to engage present and past leaders in crying into the microphone with him about their trauma and generational pain. Harry the therapist for world leaders. This has Meghan written all over it. Harry doesn't have ideas. Harry and Meghan's heads are inflated like balloons. They really think they're equals on the world stage, as if world leaders would want to have a sit down and spill their so-called life traumas to the spare and or the scarecrow who have ruined their reputations themselves, doing the very same thing. Harry's mentality is so utterly out in space, it defies imagination. Moreover, why can Harry think of doing a podcast about fatherhood he has children, supposedly, that have never been truthfully revealed, only questionable photos of various other children posing as his children. He filled his spare with outrageous lies about the experience of their births. He's never produced authenticated certificates of said births. He's a joke.